Welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas. We bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. You know, there's lots going on in games, entertainment, and tech. That's why we like to package it all up for you in the rundown. Let's get started. Things are getting even more explosive in the skies above the island of Medici. Square Enix has unveiled Sky Fortress, the first paid DLC pack for Just Cause 3. It will give players new missions and challenges where they take on an advanced and heavily armed fortress in the sky, hence the name, with loads of robotic air-based enemies to battle. Thankfully, you'll have something new in your own arsenal, the fully armed Bavarium Wingsuit, which is a more badass version of the wingsuit from the main game. Sky Fortress takes off next month. It's part of the Just Cause 3 Season Pass, which will include two more expansions focusing on the land and sea. The Season Pass costs 25 bucks. Here's something that's sending a shock through the games industry. Veteran game maker Warren Spector has joined developer Other Side Entertainment to work on their upcoming game, System Shock 3. Spector helped create the first System Shock back in 1994, and he more recently created the Epic Mickey games at Disney Interactive before leaving the studio in 2013. Several other members of the original System Shock dev team are already working on System Shock 3. The original game was one of the first big action RPGs with a first-person perspective and helped popularize the genre, leading to games like Deus Ex and Bioshock. Now that Spectre is involved with System Shock 3, it means the game is that much more likely to tap into the spirit and tone of the original. The project is still in the very early stages of development, so don't expect to be playing it for at least a few more years. We're still waiting for Half-Life 3, but here's the next best thing. The fan-made Half-Life 2 spin-off titled Prospect launches today on Steam for 10 bucks. The game takes place during the events of Half-Life 2, showing the invasion of the terrifying Nova Prospect prison from the perspective of a different character, Corporal Adrian Shepard. Fans will remember Shepard as the hero from the Half-Life 1 spin-off Opposing Force, which retold the events of that game from his perspective. Although Valve didn't have anything to do with the creation of Prospect, the studio has given the project their official blessing. As for Valve's long-awaited Half-Life 3, it's unclear if the studio is even going to make the game, but that hasn't stopped fans from holding out hope. Seriously, Valve, make Half-Life 3 already. WWE 2K16 is bringing the SmackDown to the PC. 2K Sports has announced that the new wrestling game is coming to the PC and will launch on March 11th. Best of all, the port will include all of the DLC that was released for the console version, including two playable versions of Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. The next game in the series will likely enter the ring this fall, but there's no word if it will launch on the PC at the same time as the console version, or if PC gamers will have to wait like they are with this one. Stan Lee has announced his very last Canadian convention date. The upcoming Fan Expo Canada will be his very last appearance at a Canadian con. Of course, we've talked to Stan many, many times over the years and often at Fan Expo Canada. We always wish him the very best. It's sad to relay this news, but man, this guy is a juggernaut and we love him. Fan Expo Canada takes place September 1st to 4th in Toronto. Harrison Ford probably won't be playing Han Solo again, but we will be able to see him back as another iconic character in less than two years. No, we're not talking about Indiana Jones. Blade Runner 2 is officially set to hit theaters on January 12, 2018. The sequel was first announced a few years ago, and we'll see Ford return to the role of futuristic cop Rick Deckard more than 30 years after the first film. Ryan Gosling is also set to star, and shooting will begin this summer. Blade Runner 2 is being directed by Canadian filmmaker Denis Villeneuve, whose previous films include Prisoners and Sicario. The original film's director, Ridley Scott, is serving as producer. You had me, and Harrison Ford. Go home, okay? That's it for our rundown today. We always like to end our rundowns with Harrison Ford News. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new one. You better get it up. I'm gonna have to kill you. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.